I'm in front of a medical clinic over here. Whenever you have an appointment to the doctor, I strongly advise you to... Hello guys, it's Saturday morning. It's uh, not really morning, it's uh, afternoon. It's around 11. And uh, I'm in front of a medical clinic over here. I got here a little bit earlier, so I have some time left. Uh, I'm sitting on a bench over here. It's pretty cool uh, that they arranged this uh, area here where you can sit. Let me show you. You see? It's pretty awesome. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is that I'm here and I was thinking why not to open this video and discuss a bit about how do you prepare physically and um, so physically meaning how do you dress up, how you, uh, what do you need to do before a medical visit and why not psychologically because it's not easy every time to go to a doctor so i thought being here doing this uh, is my annual checkup so uh, i must admit i'm not following up properly i think i should go more often uh, to the doctor i'm not doing it as often as i should i encourage you to do it because it's always better to prevent than treat um, but yes, this is another story. Now, I would say to start perhaps with the most obvious. Ah, this is so hot. Let me get the jacket off. Okay, it's, it's pretty hot. So, let's start with the first tip that I have whenever you have a, a medical visit, whenever you have an appointment to the doctor, I strongly advise you Two, and this is one thing that I learned uh, since I was a kid every time my parents would take me to the doctor this is something that we always always done is to arrive earlier as you can see I'm here I'm waiting uh, I'm more than half an hour earlier than I should be because it happened to anyways I had uh, some errands to do and um, I, I arrived earlier now 15 minutes at least arrive earlier to the doctor it's common sense think about it uh, the doctor it has limited time per patient so you would screw up the entire day if you get later moreover you may encounter the situation when the doctor may not receive you may not see you if, uh, if uh, you're too late so arrive earlier be in time go to the reception tell them you are there and uh, perhaps you're lucky and you get uh, there earlier i had to put my sunglasses i'm sorry i know it's not really nice to speak with sunglasses but it's way too sunny now the second point i really think you should consider uh, preparing for a medical visit would be oh i'm sorry i was distracted by so the second thing that I think you should consider when you go to a medical visit is to know why you are there. It's very, very important to not go without a reason behind. Uh, no matter if it's a yearly checkup, no matter if it's something that bothers you and you want to see if there's something to, you know, search. Uh, no matter if you have a bad thing, bad thought regarding your health, you really need to know why you are here i'm sorry there's an ambulance I, i'll come back that ambulance it took forever to pass okay so i was saying that it's important to know why you are there because you need to think about what questions you may have it's um it's for me at least it's mandatory to know what i need to know so make sure to prepare some questions make sure to uh, get your answers after the visit now what I do is to take notes on the phone. I put it on the phone. I have uh, the notes uh, from my, uh, the iPhone. Uh, I put my questions there. And if I have the time, uh, I will ask the doctor. And of course, uh, I would let him uh, tell me first. And uh, if uh, he doesn't answer the questions that uh, I have, uh, I always uh, pop up uh, my questions prepared uh, previously. There's one more thing that I want to say to the previous point is that Whenever you're making a um, uh, doctor's appointment, make sure you are committed to. Even I'm guilty of uh, making appointments and uh, something to come up uh, to, to cancel it. It's human, but make sure 
you are committed in the sense of like rescheduling it again if you know that there's something to do if you know that there is something that needs to be done uh, that you need to do a checkup that you need to uh, see what's going on in your body make sure you are committed and you have the necessary time to do so take your time it's important to have time allocated for your own health Psychologically speaking, I really think there are two key points. Mm, there's a baby here crying. I'll come back when he's calming down because I don't think he can hear me. So I was saying that psychologically speaking, you need to prepare to have in mind two points whenever you go to your doctor. I really think it's important first to be honest to, with you. So be honest with you and how you feel and be honest with your doctor. There's no point. It does nothing good for you to lie to your doctor or try and hide any symptoms that you have. So try and be as honest as you possible can be. I believe that the doctors anyways heard anything possible in this world. So they heard it all. So you're not coming with anything new. Be honest and try to give him any details because any small detail that you may consider small it could be huge for the doctor to determine any problem that you may have hopefully you don't but maybe it will help him and the second thing that you need to do is to go with an open mind okay do not remain stuck to an idea that you may have it's very important to dig in to understand what is being said to you to question it even so so if you feel like you don't think that it's relevant the solution that the doctor gave you feel free to go see another doctor see second doctor see a third doctor see how many doctors as you want see how many opinions as you need in order to 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 comprehend what's going on now open mind okay keep an open mind is very important and do not get try try to not get upset depressed so keep an open mind since we talked a lot about mindset when it comes to appointments to a doctor i believe we should talk a bit on how do you prepare in terms of clothing as you can see i took today one blouse like this it's easy to to open it's easy to take off a pair of jeans and sneakers uh, and of course uh, i have here a jacket uh, because it's um, i thought it's colder outside than it is so my point here is that i tried and got dressed as comfortable as possible you can do the same because you never know what you need to do i took a button down shirt this time but you can take anything you want from a hoodie a t-shirt um, a very loose blouse anything that could come in hand if you need to take it off or take your uh, sleeve up ambulance now in terms of pants try and get jeans any sport pants try and make it as easily wearable and uh, easily to take it off in case you need shoes as well any shoes try to avoid heels because you never know if you have to run from a cabinet to another if you have to run from a floor to another so i would advise you to to, to wear any kind of shoes sneakers any boots anything that uh, even crocs <laughs> yeah a medical visit could be when you can wear crocs so <laughs> anyways the point is to to be able to take them off uh, in case you need i gotta go guys i received a call so i can go earlier we'll talk after let's go here it's cool that you can actually take a sit and relax
Okay guys, I finished. I'm here. Uh, you know that joke about uh, an apple that uh, keeps a uh, doctor away? Uh, I can tell you reverse way. Uh, opposite, the other coin. You know what keeps the doctor super close to you? It's a cup of coffee, if not two, if not three cups of coffee per day. So, joke being said, I came to Starbucks. I got a pumpkin spice latte. It's the first thing, it's the first time when I'm testing it, so live here. Let's see if I like it. I don't like it. Am I the only person who doesn't like a pumpkin spice latte? Tell me in the comments down below if you like it or not. Mm. Anyhow, I had some tips, some more tips that I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't tell you because because the phone ringed and uh, I had to go inside. So I hope you can hear me. Anyways, one important thing that I would like to give you, especially if you go to a, a private clinic, is to check when you make the appointment to check with the lady or the guy, it doesn't matter, to know how much um, everything that you're gonna do that day will cost. Because you may, moreover, <laughs> please make sure to get more, even more money than you are told at the phone. It's important to have money with you because you need to pay. So ensure to have the necessary amount of money that you need uh, for whatever you're doing at the, the doctor. One more thing, make sure to not leave the home. Do not leave the home without your ID, your health insurance, anything, any paper that you need. While trying to drink this coffee, I'm trying to finalize this video by telling you. But I really think this is just common sense. It's very important when you go to your visit to be, how to say it nicely, at your best. Meaning, have clean clothes. Make sure you wash. I'm sorry, I, I don't like saying it, but I worked at some place. Maybe one day I will tell you, but I worked somewhere at some point and I had to deal with people and they were not coming at their best so ensure to have your clean clothes to have yourself clean depending on your visit if you go to a, a dentist make sure to brush your teeth uh, make sure to uh, to be at your best and uh, my last tip that I want to give you in terms of uh, appointments and the medical visits so restrain yourself in searching anything on Google prior to your visit or even after the visit. If you have questions, go to your doctor, make an appointment, wait for that appointment, get your information from, I get, there was a car, get, a, get your information from a arranged source. I'm not telling you that internet doesn't have its own benefits. Internet gives you a lot of good information, but next to this good information, there is such bad information. So it's sometimes it's very hard to choose, especially if you, you're not, uh, you know, you don't know. So try and not Google it. These are all my tips that I have for you in order to be prepared whenever you need to go uh, to a doctor. One more thing, important thing I would say uh, in life in general, uh, I believe, is to ensure that after your visit, you need to leave with a plan. You need to have a conclusion. Do not go there for no reason. Have a, a follow up make sure uh, to have all your answers uh, make sure you have a state of mind that 
So I was, in, I was saying that it's very important to have a conclusion. So make sure you have a follow up or a, at least a better state of mind after you go to a medical doctor, a medical visit, sorry. Now to conclude as well, I believe this is going to be a very short video, but I hope it's going to be of help. At least these tips, these things help me every time I need to, to use them. So hopefully it's going to help you guys as well. Uh, tell me in the comments down below if um, you're applying some of these uh, tips that I uh, already mentioned. And uh, why not, if you have any others, uh, please share, maybe it will help someone else. Now, to conclude, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you till the next one. Bye!